If you know me, you know that quarantine turned me into a crazy traveling art maker. If you don't know me, my name is Meryl Prendergast, and in 2020, I bought an RV. We bought it! Using money I made from my small business to travel across the United States, documenting the beauty of the country, but also the ways in which mankind has destroyed it through climate change. So we've got this beautiful pond right next to a line of factories. I used these findings to create a 24 look clothing line about four of the biomes I saw. Waterways, forests, grasslands, and the desert. Despite all this work, I wasn't done. I recruited my artist friends, constructed these garments, and headed out on the road once again, filming narrative fashion films and recording these clothing looks in the nature that inspired them. We are soaked. Oh my God. Woo! But that's a wrap. And it was amazing. I made so many beautiful memories. honest it wasn't all easy I put a lot of time and effort into this project and had my own share of little artists meltdowns it's 6 a.m. on May 30th I leave on the 2nd and everything is a disaster hey besties it's 1 a.m. um I've decided I'm gonna pull an all-nighter tonight to just finish everything I won't finish everything but I'll finish most of it I'm really tired, but I still have a lot to do. Um, I'm so tired of sewing. But it has all been worth it. And nine months later, I'm ready to share my artwork with the world at Distillery Gallery in South Boston. This space where I'm filming right now. However, I need your help and I'm not very good at asking for it. Art making is an expensive endeavor and I'm looking to fundraise to cover some of the costs like cost to rent this space and to print some of my artwork. You see a couple of RV breakdowns in multiple different cities, although leading to amazing stories, does not lead to a happy wallet. Hi everyone, we're back in better than ever. Is that true? No, it's not true. We have an exhaust problem. This is what we've got for tools. <laughs> <laughs> we have orange yoga mat. <laughs> Two oven mitts, a wrench. Do not worry, my friends. We have rewarded them with some frozen ice pops. It's, it's Aaron's <laughs> day one, and we need transmission fuel <laughs> fluid. So uh, we had been hearing a scraping sound. We've since figured out what it was. Um, part of our roof just disappeared. Oh my god, it broke! <laughs> um, so we're getting towed. We didn't even make it to the coast. Hi, my name is Meryl. I'm getting ghosted by my mechanic. So it's a 1994 Gulfstream Ultra. To breaking down. To breaking down. <laughs> to breaking down. Anymore. We're leaving Mabel. There she is. However, I don't just want to ask for your money. I want to give you something in return. I've been running my small business for two years now, and you're welcome to make a purchase in my shop to donate to the cause, especially the prints. I've taken these photos throughout my travels, and they mean the world to me. If you don't want to buy anything there, there's also a donate to the artist section clearly visible on my site that you can contribute to there. The last option you can donate to is by purchasing a ticket to this exhibition. Tickets are free or pay what you can, so you can choose the amount of money that you would like to donate if you would like to. But I want to make this exhibition accessible to everyone. Anyone that donates any amount of money from now until March 30th will be mentioned as a contributor to this exhibition in the credits of the fashion film that will be on display at my exhibition. Thank you so much in advance for your support and I cannot wait to welcome you into this space and share this amazing art project that I have been doing to wrap up my final semester of college and to celebrate with you all. Bye.